Hey guys, welcome back to the Kool Aid Podcast. Welcome back to another video, guys. Before we get started on today's Barcelona video, our match preview. Make sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms down below. We are on TikTok, we are on Twitter, and we are on Instagram. So make sure to check us out on all of our social media platforms posted down below. But guys, tomorrow we have a match preview. Preview. We're going to be playing away at Villarreal. Um, Barcelona is going to be looking to get some points. Uh, these are the time zones in which Barcelona is going to, be going to be playing. And so wherever you guys are in the world, these are the time zones. I'm obviously in Miami. And so um, the game is going to be at 1130 uh, a.m. Lo local time for me. Just however, in Barcelona, the game is going to be held at 530. So those are the time zones, guys. Um, just a heads up. Um, but let's get let's get uh, a look into the, the the squad and and see who's going to be available to play. So these are the players who are going to be available for the third game or third La Liga game. It's going to be Ter Stegen, uh, Gabi, Ferran, Lewandowski, Ansu Fati, Christensen, Abde, Marcos Alonso, Romeo, Sergio Roberto, Frankie De Jong, um, Gundogan, Kunde, Er Garcia, uh, Arastraga. Laminia Mal, Balde, Casado, Cochin, uh, Fermin, and Kubarzi. Uh, apologies if I butchered any of these guys' names. Um, just however, obviously, there is no Pedri. There is no Araujo. We have some some big absences. Xavi is also not going to be on, on the pitch. He's going to be uh, serving that suspension. And there is no Rafinha as well. And so Barcelona, they're going to have to make do with what they have. But now, let's look at the predicted lineup. What do you think Barcelona's squad is going to be? Now, this is the pretty lineup from uh, FootMod, the, the, the app uh, that I'm on. Uh, and this is the La, La Liga table. But let's first look at the squad lineup and, and see what what the predicted lineup is. So as you guys can know, uh, apparently Barcelona is going to be lining in a 3-4-2-1. It's going to be Balde on the left, Frankie Dion playing as, a, as the left center back, Christensen Kunde. Gundogan, Romeo, Sergio Roberto, Laminia Mao, Lewandowski, and Gavi with Ter Stegen in goal. Now, I'm not a big fan of this lineup just because like, I don't like to see Sergio Roberto in there. If I was uh, Xavi, I would line up with Balde on the left, playing as the left back. Frankie De Jong playing as the left center back. Christensen as the right, and Kunde as the right back. And then you would have a midfield trio of Ro or Romeo, Gundogan, Gavi. I would take out Sergio Roberto and put in Ferran Torres, for example, or Ansu Fati. You can have Ansu Fati playing in the position that Gavi is in. And there is some question mark. Guys, would you start Ferran Torres in, in the number nine position? Because I know Lewandowski hasn't been that great and he hasn't been doing that well so far. And so there was some speculation in the media that, hey, maybe this is a game in which we rest Lewandowski. Rest him, you know, um, Allow him some time away from the pitch, bring in Ferran Torres, who, ha who has been fantastic so far, who is on fire, and a player who is showing a lot of determination to improve and show Xavi what he's made of. And so start Ferran Torres as the nine, have Laminia Mal on the right, since obviously Rafinha is still not available because he's serving the suspension in which he got against um against Zafe. And then you put maybe Ansu Fati on the left. And you still have that three midfield. However, obviously, you could go for something different. You could put Frankie De Jong in the midfield, uh, put Sergio Roberto in the right back, and then obviously have that that basically that that four man midfield. Xavi has a lot of options uh, to go around, but then also this is the La Liga table. There is some pressure on Barcelona as Real Madrid. They've won three out of three of their games, as you see. Real Madrid are the leaders at the moment with nine points. If Barcelona they do win. We would jump up to seven uh, to basically second place. Um, Atletico Madrid, they also drew one of their matches. And so Barcelona, they, they, the pressure is on. We do have to improve. Our head-to-head -head record, uh, as you guys see, it's it's extremely in Barcelona's favor uh, with 21 wins, four draws, and one loss, basically. The last time we played with them uh, at, at their stadium. We lost 1-0. No, no, we, we won, actually. Um, and then, as you guys can see, it's just Barcelona victories, except for in May 2022 in La Liga, where we did loss. Uh, and these are some more insights uh, on both teams. 
Villarreal ranked 10 in goals scored per match, one goal, ranked 8th in shots on target per match, four shots, ranked 10th in goals conceded per match, one goal. And then these are some more stats on Barcelona. But obviously, these are the other results. So some other games, if you guys want to check that out, you have Atletico Club versus Real Betis, Rajo Vaticano um, hosting uh, Atletico uh, Madrid. And so those are the lineups. This is also Villarreal's printed lineup. Uh, the same is going to be at the Estadio La La, La Ceramica. Um, so, guys, who? What are your match predictions? Who do you guys think is going to win? These are the the, the predictions. The probability seventy three percent for Barcelona, sixteen percent for Villarreal. But guys, I want to know your guys' match predictions. Who do you guys think is going to win uh, the match? Let me know down below in the comments. But, guys, I just wanted to talk about a quick piece of news uh, just to give you guys a heads up. Ivan Fresneda, he is heading to Sporting. We, we have received the here we go confirmation from Fabrizio Romano. Ivan Fresneda to Sporting. Here we go. The player has accepted after deal done between clubs for 9 million euros plus 3 million euros add-ons package. Hashtag Sporting. Medical booked for Fresneda, who said to sign until June 2028. 10% sell-on clause included, as called by, by Marca. Now, this deal is a little bit frustrating because I believe that Ivan Fresneda, he does have quality. I don't know why Xavi didn't want to maybe trust in him. Barcelona's their number one choice is Joao Cancelo. Just however, if I was Barcelona, I, I would go for both of them. I would go for both Ivan Fresneda and Joao Cancelo. Try to get both of them because as I'm about to mention, uh, Balde, he did receive a knock in training recently. And so he is in doubt to be playing for this weekend. And so if Balde is available, he's going to play. He's going to play against Vitra. Just however, if he's not, we're going to have Marcos Alonso uh, playing there. And possibly the inclusion of Sergio Roberto. And in, in 2023, we can't be having our fullbacks at Barcelona be Marcos Alonso and Sergio Roberto. And so with the inclusion of Joao Cancelo, he can play on the left, but then who's going to be playing on the right? And so I think the addition of both Joao Cancelo and Ivan Fernandez is so, so key. And only for 9 million euros? Are you serious? Like, uh, that's absolutely a joke. And, and, and watch out. I guarantee you that this that Ivan Fernandez in the future is going to be going for like 50 million euros or something like that, or going to the Prem or something like that. Um, but it's just such a shame. But guys, let me know your, your guys' thoughts on Ivan Fresneda. What do you guys think of his move to Sporting? And as well, what do you guys what were your match predictions for tomorrow's match against Villarreal? Do you guys think that we're gonna be able to get the job done with the absences of Pedri and Araujo, both who got injured? Uh, it's it's just crazy that the season has just started and two of our key players are already gone. And lastly, um, guys, as always, remember to like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys all in the next video.